Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sarah Sanders Daily Rambles. Today we're doing Season 3, Episode 3 of Supergirl, and it's called Far From the Tree. So we're starting off with John is decided to go to Mars, because uh, Megan asked for him in the last episode, so she, so he is going, then Car decides to go, and she gets permission from Alex, because Alex is having her wedding shower around the same time she will be up there. So, they drive in this old car, which is actually a ship, and it turns out shape can shape, shape shift like John. And so um, then we cut to where Liza throws a dinner and asks about um, Maggie's um, baby pictures and kid pictures and all that stuff. And basically, um, her dad threw them out and threw her out at 14 because that's when she came out and said she liked a girl. And so he literally put her on the side of the road next to her, his aunt's house and stuff. So, not good family stuff there. And then, we have John and Supergirl on Mars, and then they find Megan and a bunch of white Martians that are on the Resistance. And they found his father, which is so crazy. So, basically, he's, um, they, since he's like a, he's a, he was a high priest, so they don't attack a hyper, they don't kill them. So they were trying to, um, so anyway. And they need to find the staff of Kalar, and it's basically a psychic weapon. And um, as they're going all over this, John is super overwhelmed, like really overwhelmed with everything. And then we go back to Earth, where Maggie and Alex talk. And then Maggie tells her to uh, drop it about her family and her father and everything. And then John uh, talks to his dad, but he doesn't believe that he's actually him and thinks he's dead. Then Maggie calls her dad, and basically um, it didn't go that great. At least we don't think it does. And then we cut back to Mars, where they might have to break his mind in order to get where the staff is so they can get there before the White Martians do. And then uh, Car tells him to talk to his dad and try to just get through and just keep trying to do that. And then we have Megan's dad is in town and he's been following her cases and keeping up with her through that type of stuff. So it's almost like he's proud of her, but not really. So it's kind of this very interesting dynamic there. Then we go back to Mars where uh, John talks to his dad again. And then uh, the White Martians start to attack them because they're so desperate to um, get everything uh, done, try to find the staff and everything. So they're just kind of, um, they're very, they're under a lot of pressure. So they're just like, well, let's just break his mind and just get it over with. So Kara attacks them and um, they attack them. And so they go to um, his father's house. And his dad still doesn't believe him. And they go back to Earth where there's a bridal shower. And so the dad shows up and gives him a baby picture for the board. There was this little board thingy, which was kind of cute. And then uh, when Mackie kisses Alex, she gets he gets mad and then leaves. And then he plays. Um, then what happens is uh, he's just very overwhelmed. He it's just like it's just his mindset basically. But where he throws in like um, how he came to this country when he was nine. He was working at the, um, in the factory when he was like 12 or 13 or something. And I deal with racism from white people and just doing all this type of stuff. And then Maggie's trying to tell him, what well, I understand that story. You told me the story. I understand it, but the world is different. And then he brings up the wall issue, but, um, and they don't know how to handle that one. And I'm just like, I, I do understand. It's very intense and but he's just kind of blowing up i think more that alice is a federal agent i think that's what's kind of got him more under his skin and then just her being a lesbian on top of that it's like just a, not a good bonus for him so i don't know what the rooted issue is so i don't know what the anyway it's, it's a very interesting dynamic between maggie and her uh, family very very interesting so then we go back to Mars where a car talks to John's dad and it does work. And so he finally lets the score down a little bit to where John can share a memory with his dad. And it's about his birthday. 
and how his kids finally kept a secret and everything. So that was super cool. It was a really cool moment. And then he finally believes that it's him. And so then the White Martians show up and they sh uh, tell him, um, so um, John's dad tells him basically where to go. And so they go to a crater. And then that's my favorite part of the episode. Because people on this channel know I love you some Brittany. I love her. Anyway, uh, so basically uh, Carter pulls up in the car with Hit Me Baby One More Time or Just Baby One More Time. Playing on the radio and talking to him. It's like, it's, it's just this place like a funny Looney Tunes moment. It's just like, uh, I got lost on my way to Albuquerque. Can y'all tell me which way the guy kind of got lost? And just all this kind of funny stuff, which I thoroughly enjoyed. And then, the, um, then she starts fighting them. I was John and the Resistance, which is just, it was probably my favorite moment so far. I loved it. Anyway, so, um, they have really good fight scenes between everybody, so I really do appreciate that. And then the uh, staff does go off. They finish their, um, and, um, they finish activating the staff, and so basically starts to hurt the resistance, but not them. So Kara goes after them, and basically, um, so she gets it and not, and basically vaporizes the um, the bad ones and gets it to the resistance. And then uh, the resistance says, why don't you just take it to Earth and bury it there so that way we are not tempted to use it and that way we can um, earn our freedom on our own and not need this like incredible help, basically. They want to try to do it without extreme power so it doesn't go to their heads and they learn from their mistakes and stuff. At least that's what I got from it. If I'm wrong, please hear me down in the comment section down below. For people that actually got this far, thank you. So then... Um, then we cut to um, Earth, where Maggie basically uh, guilts her dad and say, "I'm not that," but also tells her tells him that I'm not that little girl anymore. I'm not the same person anymore. I am with people who love and accept me and who cherish me and who treat me right. He basically, tells them off and says like, "Bye," <laughs> and goes back to the little picture. Then Alice and Maggie talk about kids, and she still doesn't want them. And my thing is. You can already kind of tell what's going to happen between them. They're going to have a huge blow because I know Alex really wants kids, but she's kind of just brushing off. But I'm telling you, that's going to come back to bite her in the butt. Because I know she's going to feel too, a lot of pressure because like she really wants kids, but Maggie doesn't. So it's going to be very interesting on how that plays out. So I'm very interested to see where that goes. But I know that she wants kids. I mean, I don't know why she's saying, oh, I'm fine with it. I'm fine with it. But you keep asking. So obviously you're not fine with it. Just saying. And so, um, then we cut to where, um, John's dad is on Earth now, so at least John and his dad can have quality time together and just venture around Earth and stuff, so that's going to be super cool. I, I'm very excited for, um, that dynamic and how that's when they're at with his work and all that type of stuff, so I'm very excited for that. So, um... That's it, um, end of that episode, and honestly, I'm going to give this another A+. Plus. It was really good. I do like the dynamics that are happening between Maggie's parents and her, and how everything is stacked up against Maggie, and how they're going to overcome it. I'll be very interested to see how they do that. And, and also, the new dynamic between John and his, and his dad, I, that's going to be very interesting to see what happens, how he adjusts to Earth, and how he's going to like it. So... I'm very excited to see what's going to happen with that. I think that'll be a really awesome dynamic. And I don't know how that's going to play out. And I can't wait to see what's going to happen next. So, like I said, this is an A-plus episode. I just like everything about this episode. <laughs> Especially the whole Britney thing. I've never in my life heard one Britney song in a single TV show. Like, ever. Except on The Hills. That's about it. <laughs> um, but everything else has been so silent. So, it's finally, I said, like, thank you. So thank you, Airverse. I hope I see more of you. I hope I, I hear more of her on the Airverse or something. That would be kind of neat. I know a lot of people don't like her, but I did, so deal. <laughs> anyway, so um, that's what I'm doing for this video. So if you like this video, please go to like, comment down below, and then subscribe for more stuff. Because it, Oh, that's another thing. Thank you to all y'all who's been watching my videos so far. I've gotten 245 views in like two and a half days. That's crazy for Kelly Clarkson. And I love her. So thank y'all so much. I really appreciate that. 
That is so awesome of y'all. I really, I'm so appreciative. And to um, 11 subscribers now, I just said 10 about three videos ago, four videos ago. So thank you again for that. That's awesome. And I just want to say thank you for almost surpassing my main, main channel. So that's awesome as well. We're about to pass that in view. So I'm very excited for what's happening. So thank y'all for watching. And I want y'all to have a super awesome day. Bye, everybody.